Ship launching, docking, and undocking operations. Ship launching, docking, and undocking are fundamental operations in the life cycle of a vessel, each serving a unique purpose within the maritime industry. 1. Ship launching. Preparation. The ship launching process commences with careful planning. The shipyard ensures that the ship is structurally sound and that the launch area is properly prepared, which includes verifying the ship's hull's integrity, ensuring that the ballast tanks are appropriately filled, and implementing all safety measures. Two primary methods, slipway launching. In this method, the ship is constructed on a sloping surface, the slipway, which leads directly into the water. The ship is positioned on a set of rollers or cradles that allow for a controlled descent into the water. Dry dock launching. In this method, the ship is built within a dry dock, a specialized chamber that can be flooded with water or drained as needed. The ship is constructed inside the dry dock, and when it's ready for launch, the dock is flooded, allowing the ship to float. Final checks. Before the ship is launched, comprehensive final checks are carried out to ensure it is seaworthy. This includes a final inspection of the hull, verification that all systems are operational, and confirmation of safety measures, lubrication, in slipway launching, a lubricant, such as grease or soap is applied to the slipway or cradles to reduce friction, ensuring a smooth descent into the water. Launch Ceremony Ship launches are often celebrated with a ceremonial event. This event may include speeches, the traditional breaking of a bottle of champagne against the ship's hull, christening, and the announcement of the ship's name. Controlled descent The ship is gradually allowed to slide or be lowered into the water. In slipway launching, the ship moves down the inclined surface into the water. In dry dock launching, the dock is gradually filled with water until the ship begins to float. Retrieval. In slipway launching, the ship is maneuvered into its final position using tugs or other boats after launch. In dry dock launching, the ship is often towed to a nearby berth for further fitting out and sea trials. Sea trials. After launch, the ship undergoes sea trials to test its performance, stability, and various systems to ensure it is seaworthy and ready for its intended purpose. 2. Docking Operation Docking Docking is the process of bringing a ship into a designated berth or pier, ensuring that it securely moors at a port or harbor. This operation facilitates various functions, including loading and unloading cargo, passenger embarkation and disembarkation, and maintenance and repair work on the ship, pilotage, and tugboat assistance. A local maritime pilot boards the ship before it enters the port to assist in navigating through the harbor. Tugboats are often used to guide the ship into the dock safely. Mooring and safety. Once in position, the ship is securely moored using ropes and lines. Fenders are used to prevent damage, and various shore services are connected to the vessel. Safety and security are paramount throughout the docking operation. 3. Undocking Operation. Release of mooring lines. To undock the ship, the crew releases the mooring lines securing the vessel to the dock, typically in a coordinated sequence to maintain stability. Tugboat assistance. Tugboats may be employed to help guide the ship away from the dock, especially in challenging conditions. Pilotage. A local maritime pilot may be on board to assist in navigating the ship safely out of the port. Safe departure. The ship's engines and rudders are used to navigate away from the berth and out of the harbor with precision to avoid collisions. Safety and security. Safety measures are rigorously adhered to during undocking operations to ensure the well-being of passengers, crew, and the vessel. In summary, ship launching marks the birth of a vessel, while docking and undocking operations are integral to the ship's operational life. These operations are executed with precision, emphasizing safety and efficiency to ensure the functionality and safety of maritime trade and transportation.